My name is Lou LaGrange. I work at Lonely Planet Publications here in the America's office. And why are you here at the conference? What are you after? Oh, what am I after? To make good connections, uh, mm -hmm. to make sure that uh, all the business leaders in the travel industry understand what Lonely Planet is, who Lonely Planet is, what Lonely Planet can offer them from a B2B marketing standpoint to reach their consumers. Okay. And what is the opportunity for Lonely Planet? online because obviously you know they've got a great heritage as a, as a book publishing sort sure, of offer. Sure. Well we've always been aware that uh, it's important to keep up with the latest digital trends and, uh, and to accomplish those needs we're evolving our website as we speak and making sure new features are added. And can you tell us anything about this? Oh uh, well you can actually go to lonelyplanet.com and check it out. Um, <laughs> I mean there's there's a new functionality, trip planner functionality and, and, and new features being added all the time. We really want to make sure we provide worldwide community of Lonely Planet, passionate travelers with the tools they desire from the website. It's been quite a bit of uh, trip planning uh, sure. innovation that people have been talking about. This yeah, afternoon. I find it interesting. You know, a lot of it is very similar in many ways to what we're offering. A lot of it might be complementary. Just got to find out how the business relationships can be worked out. But it's been fascinating this far to really hear what all the smart people in the world are coming up with as far as online travel. Do you think, what do you think of the sort of emerging trends coming out from today? I mean, you know, sort of multi-map planning is one of them, I think. You know, I, what I've seen so far is a lot of um, a lot of cases where people are realizing the possibility of technology to take care of online travel. Mm -hmm. So, you know, some of the fascinating ones to me were sort of send all your emails to a particular place and they'll. But it'll pull it all together for you and actually lay out your trip for you. Those, that's the side type of uh, functionality and utility that uh, seems to be lacking thus far. Even you know, myself as a personal traveler, I know I still go to 20 different websites, Lonely Planet being number one, obviously, but <laughs> go to 20 different websites, gather a lot of information, sort of print it all out, and then it's in, in disparate places. But I'm, I'm excited to see some of the, the technology that's going to pull it all together. Then do you think some of the, actually the old school channels like email mm. have some untapped possibilities there? Email's not going to disappear. You know, email has is, is an amazing invention. And although we all get a little bit too much spam in our inboxes, I use it all every day, all day, and so do you probably. <laughs> so if you had to pick one of the innovations from today that you've seen so far that might suit Lonely Planet, which one would you, oh, would I'd have you to like? i collide on that one. I, 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 we're we're going to evaluate all the possibilities and see who might be a good partner with. Thank you very much.